Former President Trump says no more money for rhinos. Now he's asking supporters to donate to his new political action committee as a means of exerting financial leverage over the GOP. This is SOH News and I'm Lena Skorbak. Over the past week, Trump has been ramping up his battle with the GOP to ensure that donor money doesn't end up going to candidates who are disloyal to his cause. Last Friday, Trump's lawyer sent letters to several GOP committees to stop using his name and likeness in fundraising emails and merchandise. Specifically, letters were sent to the Republican National Committee, the National Republican Congressional Committee, and the National Republican Senatorial Committee. They are three of the largest fundraising organizations for the GOP. And President Trump still features quite prominently in many of these organizations' fundraising efforts. But the RNC brushed this aside. RNC Chief Counsel Justin Reimer said that the RNC has every right to refer to public figures as it engages in core First Amendment protected political speech, and it will continue to do so in pursuit of these common goals. He added that Trump and RNC Chair Donna McDaniel have a very close relationship, and Trump reaffirmed to her that he approved use of his name for fundraising. But Trump emphasized that there should be no more money for those that are Republicans in name only. He said if supporters want to help the America First movement, they should donate directly to his political action committee called Save America. So what exactly is Trump's strategy behind all these fundraising requests, especially when it seems like this would be dividing the GOP's funds? Well, since there's not really a modern precedent of the RNC backing a challenger against a Republican incumbent, this means that the RNC could end up bankrolling several candidates that Trump is looking to oust, most notably the Republicans who voted to impeach him. And all this talk about fundraising is especially relevant now that five Republican senators have already stated they will not run for re-election in 2022. So this opens the field for Trump to reshape Congress by backing candidates who are more aligned with his America First platform but not without the help of Trump's base. Trump Advisory Board member Jason Meister said this, Trump needs his supporters flush with cash so that when it's time to raise money for America First candidates and the America First agenda, they have the resources. And despite some fractures within the GOP, there seems to be a growing recognition that the Republican Party is still very much part of Trump. During the Conservative Political Action Conference last month, many speakers reaffirmed him as the future of the party. The RNC also decided to hold part of its spring retreat at Mar-a-Lago, which is Trump's exclusive club and residence in Palm Beach, Florida. Well, that's it for this story. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.